Hi, my name is Dr. Sherry Levin. Welcome to the video on the future value of one. In this problem, we have Karen Rice invested $15,000 today in a fund that earns 8% interest compounded annually. To what amount will the investment grow in three years? Over on the right side, under the blue highlight, you see what I call optional naming convention. I use this naming convention to help me stay organized when working time value of money problems. Note that I will use a lowercase pv and a lowercase fv for the present value and the future value of one, also known as the present or future value of a lump sum. And I will use capital letters for the present and future value of an annuity. When the annuity is an annuity due, meaning that the payments are made at the beginning of the period, instead of the end of a period, I will put in parentheses the word due after PV and FV. Again, this is optional. I like to use it. If it works for you, feel free to use it also. Coming over to summarize the data that we know, this investment pays 8% interest on an annual basis. I use the italicized I to mean interest equals 8%. And N, I will use for the number of periods. Since this investment will grow for three years and the interest is compounded annually, the number of periods is equal to three. I drew this timeline to help us stay organized. We have at time zero, which is right now, the investment is made and the present value is $15,000. This $15,000 will earn interest over the next three years. And then at the end of three years, it will have a new value which will be greater than $15,000. We just don't know by how much quite yet. So what exactly is it that we're looking for? We're looking for the future value of this $15,000 investment. We're going to use a formula. The formula says we're looking for the future value, which is equal to the present value times a factor. Well, we're going to fill in what we know so far. The future value is what we don't know. So we'll keep that on the left-hand side of the equation. It's equal to the present value, which is $15,000, times the factor. The factor comes off of what's called a time value of money table, specifically the future value of one table. In this case, we're going to use the table for at 8% for three periods. So when we join the lines coming down the 8% column and across the three period row, we see that our factor is 1.25971. So I will plug that figure into our equation. So it now says the future value is equal to $15,000 times 1.25971. And the future value is equal to $18,895.65. So in other words, at the end of three years, this $15,000 investment will be worth $18,895.65. You may wonder why I'm using time value of money tables as opposed to a calculator or having Excel compute the answer. The reason is that on the CPA exam, candidates are not allowed to use sophisticated financial calculators. They're given a very rudimentary calculator. All time value of money problems must be solved using time value of money tables. So therefore, I will be using tables throughout all of the time value of money videos. I hope you found this video helpful. Please feel free to ask questions. I'm always willing to help. Thank you. Bye-bye.